doing a quick one. Um, <clears throat> I had a couple guys ask me about this, so I figured it was simple enough just to do a quick video to to help explain it. It's really not that complicated, but so how to charge your car audio capacitor. So today we got just the Soundstream SCX 1.5 one and a half farad capacitor. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do it, but first I'm going to I'm not going to go too crazy in depth, but I'm going to tell you why you need to do it. Capacitors, they're like batteries, but they don't store energy for that long. So that's a good way to think about it. It's like a battery that stores voltage for just a few seconds. So that's kind of what they are. Um, they're made with metal plates inside and an insulator, but the reason why they include you know a little resistor is if you just apply the positive and negative there's no buffer inside to allow the voltage to just freely flow in it'll act like a dead short so it'll just it'll just act like if you took a power wire and hit it to a ground it would spark and that can damage not only your terminals or your cables but it could damage the cap so the capacitor which they always include um, if you lose these, by the way, we sell these on the HiFiVector.com website. Um, if you lose these things, so we do have them there. There's a link below. Um, so what the purpose of the resistor is, so you hook up your positive and negative. First things first, sometimes they make it very small and hard to see the positive and negative. Make sure you get that right, because if you hit that backwards, <clears throat> a lot of times that will damage the cap instantly. Um, so what we're doing, so we got the ground hooked up and then we got the 12 volt. We don't want to just hit that because it'll act like a short because the power will just instantly arc in. So the resistor goes in between and it just creates a buffer. It slows down the current going in so you don't get that short circuit effect that damages the internal components of the cap. So what you do, you could put it in line on the negative or in line on the positive. It doesn't matter. So here we got it in line on the positive and the ground is hooked up. Okay, so then you just touch the resistor wire to the cap. And the resistor will get warm. That's normal. And what you want to do, you hold it until the voltage stops rising. or slows down to where it almost stops so it's slowing down pretty good right there then you could actually ap apply full voltage so it's basically like you're just slowly ramping up the voltage <clears throat> get it as high as it'll go or pretty close with the resistor and then pull the resistor out you can connect your <clears throat> your um, your main wires and the same, the reason why you have to discharge them is because not all of them, but some of them, and I'm sure some you've heard some stories about like guys' car batteries going dead. You know, if they if they don't drive it that much and they come back in two weeks and the cap is like leaking and leaking fluid. Caps are also sensitive to voltage dropping too low for a long period of time. So that's why you use the resistor to discharge them. So the voltage drops out right away because if like if you had a if you had it in your car and the battery slowly died, obviously the battery would be take days to slowly drop and die. And let's say this thing hits eight volts and stays at eight volts for a long period of time, that will also damage damage the cap. So that's why you need to charge them with the resistor. And if you're like disconnecting your power cable or changing your battery, you need to discharge it first. Um, so that way, just in case, no damage occurs. So we'll go ahead and discharge it now, and I'll show you. So like when you just remove power, you remove the power real quick, and you literally just put the resistor across the terminals, and it causes the voltage to drop faster and die out. And you just go until all the juice is gone. And again, the, the uh, resistor will get hot, so I tend to keep my fingers off that. 
and that's it. Now you can store it, put it away, or whatever. Pretty simple video. I hope that helped. And again, thanks so much for watching, guys.